Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing brakes on a 2014 Acura RLX. So we already pulled the wheels off, as you can see. Next thing we want to do is pull these two little Phillips screws off and I'll show you how. It's real simple, I'm just using a little electric DeWalt impact with a Phillips bit on it. There you go. We're going to go ahead and pull off the two bolts holding the calipers. And I'll show you how. I'm using a pair of vice grips to hold one side. You can use a wrench. That doesn't really matter because it's not real tight. Voila. Now we'll take off the top bolt. Okay, so now we're at the top bolt. Same, we're just going to take it off. It's not on real hard. There we go. Alright, it's really important that these two pins move freely. And that's really important because as the caliper works, the piston pushes on one side, all the pressure is divided up to the other side as well, and it squeezes the pads by moving back and forth. If this pin is stuck, the piston is only pushing on one side of the pad. So if you take apart your rotor when you pull this back and only one side of the pad is worn, the side of the piston and the other side is not, your pin is probably stuck. Not probably, it is stuck. So all the pressure is only given on one side. So this is really important that it move freely, as you can tell, just like it should be. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to move the piston back so that we can put the new pads on. I prefer to do it here on the car. We can get it off, we can use a C-clamp. There's, there's several ways to, to do it. I prefer to use a bottle with the hose to release the bleeder. Then just take a screwdriver in there and just slightly, slowly start pressing pressure. And you can see it's moving the brake fluid back up into and out of the caliper. Move the brake fluid out of the caliper. Mm -hmm. Now we've moved the piston back and when we put the new pads on, because the pads are going to be thicker, it'll go right back on. What you could do as well, we pull this off. A lot of people would just come in here with the C-clamp and just squeeze them with the C-clamp. What you want to do is you want to break loose the bleeder so that as you're pushing this back, it's not forcing this back up into the analog brakes or the master cylinder. I'd rather just push it out this way and we'll add new brake fluid. We should always have new brake fluid anyway. So this is the preferred way. If you squeeze it extremely slowly and softly, you may get away with not opening the bleeder. I suggest just open the bleeder and release the pressure that way as you're opening it. Also, a tip of the day, instead of hanging this on your brake hose, just go ahead and when you're done, put a coat hanger and hang it. You're not putting any pressure on the hose at all. It's just hanging there on a coat hanger. You can see that. I just got it hanging on a coat hanger. I already had that ready. Now it's hanging out of the way and I can go ahead and remove this bracket so I, I can go ahead and change out my rotors. All right, hang in there. Now we're gonna slide the caliper back off and there's our pads. By looking at the pads, let's see what they look like. There's your little spring to keep them from vibrating and they actually look pretty good but they are thin and it is time and they're both the same thickness on both sides. So everything's working good it's just time for a fresh set of pads. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the rotors as well. Why not? You're probably wondering why not? Well because it's inexpensive and it's a lot cheaper to replace them than to have them turned. Let me show you what we can get from the local CarQuest store. Oops. All right. So we can get brand new set of rotors. We can get a brand new set of pads 
are a lot cheaper than it costs just to turn these and just do the pads. To me, it makes more sense just to go ahead and put a new set of rotors on, but you do what you want to do. All right, let's get this thing done and get back to work. All right, what's next? We're going to go ahead and take the pads off, slide these brackets off, which is just two more bolts back here, and then we'll replace the rotors. I'll get to it. Okay, we got a spring that goes up here on top. The spring just kind of puts a little pressure on the, on the pads just to keep them up off the rotor. It's just a light little spring. Goes across there. We have some springs on the top and the bottom just to keep them from vibrating as well. And as you can tell, it was time for a set of pads. Look at there. Just about getting to the squealer. All right, here we go. There's the two bolts. Here's the bracket. Nothing complicated about that, is it? All right, once that bracket is removed, the rotor can now just come right off. Just needed a little, little help. There it is. I did spray a little bit of lubricant on it. There you go. Ready for a new rotor, some new pads. At, while we're down here, we'll go ahead and check the CV joints. We'll check the axle boots, but that's a different story. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the thing back, put back together again. Okay, the new rotors are gonna come with the rust preventive coating on them. These are CarQuest, and you can see they have this rust preventative. So we're gonna put these on, and we're gonna align are two little countersunk screws where they go. After I put these on and tighten these up, then we'll go ahead and clean the surfaces on both sides with a brake clean. Doesn't matter what brand, I'm using the CarQuest brand. And we're gonna go and clean both sides because we don't want that rust preventative coating getting on the pads. Every, everything else is fine, but just not on the pads. All right, let's get to it. Okay. Go ahead and tighten these back up. How awesome is that? Can't get no easier than that. Okay, let's open up these CarQuest Gold Premium Pads and see what all this is all about. Hey, I like that. All right, let's unwrap these. I like that. That's a good looking pad. There's no way you can get dirty. Let's get these on. Okay, going back on. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bracket back on. Hope I'm not in the way. Not difficult at all. Quite easy to get to. I'm on a lift, but I'm sure if you're doing it from the ground, it wouldn't be hard at all. All right. Okay. If you feel you need to torque these, I would. I don't feel I need to. I've been doing this for a while. But by all means, please make, make sure these are tight. All right. Look at that. That's super sweet. Okay, time to put the pads on. There is a left and a right because of the little squealers here. These are called squealers, that's what I call them, because it's a little metal tab that's just above 
the metal plate. So as your brake pad starts to wear, before it hits the metal plate, this little arm here touches a rotor first. It starts to vibrate and makes a squealing sound, just like if the pads were all the way down to the rotor. So it really starts to warn you ahead of time that it's time to go in for a brake job. Pretty cool. There's a couple little holes there, as you can see. Let's put the pads on. Has a little spring right here, one right there. All you gotta do is push down, push in this little happy spot. Look at that. Looking good. Got our pads on. I'm gonna go ahead and take our caliper off of its safety wire hanging. And move on down. Okay, the pads are on. Now it's time for this. Don't forget your little spring. This is what's gonna keep the pads away. See how it wants to open them? It wants to just push them apart from each other. Let's go ahead and put the caliper on now. Push these two in. We go on. We got the upper and the lower caliper bolts. We'll tighten them up. And essentially the brake job is done. Okay, I'm gonna tighten those up there and there we are. An Acra brake job. about done. All right, I like to put them all on by hand before getting on them with the torque wrench. Got all the lug nuts on. Got them on hand tight. Now I'm going to go ahead and torque them. I don't think you all need to know uh, how to tighten a wheel. That's another video that I ain't going to make. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Danny in the shop, I don't know what to call this. We'll see you next time.